Oh! <laughs> that didn't hurt though, I don't think it's like hurt. What are you doing? He's punching a pumpkin. X man. No, right, three. That X man. Three, two, one. Hi! Hi, welcome. Is the microphone on? Welcome to the channel. We're in our kitchen today where we haven't been for a long time. Let's show them. I'm actually here daily. Move. Our kitchen. If you're new here, make sure you press subscribe down below and press the bell so you get a little notification on your phone every time we upload, because why not? Also, I really want to know, for the sake of future videos in our kitchen, what do you want us to make? Uh, I've got a good idea of what I want to make next. Mocky. But I don't know if I'll be able to. So I've got a few rules. It's got to be under 10 minutes, super easy for me to follow and include chocolate. We haven't made a video in our kitchen in a long time, so if you're new to this, this is what happens. We find a recipe, we decide whether or not we're going to bother to make the recipe, and then we attempt it. And it sometimes turns out good, and I'd say maybe 60% of the time turns out really badly. Tip of the day! They're all bad, the tips, that is. What we're going to do today is make maple syrup chocolate no, bubble tea. Ooh, no, we just make chocolate. We're going to oh, make... That's so gross. Is that eczema? Is that eczema? So it's not funny. <laughs> We've also still got our pumpkin here from Halloween. Uh, we didn't carve it because we didn't have time, so Linda drew a face on it. Ooh. On your head. There's only three or four things you'll need for this, and the ingredients are... You'll need cocoa. No, do it again. Coco. Coco. Oh no, 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 wait. Coco. No. Coco. Tapioca balls. This is a tapioca pearl. It is made of rice starch, I think. I don't know. It's from the cassava root. They're really nice. Mmm. We're vegetarian, so we're using oat milk. Maple syrup, just in case you want to make the maple one. You need some some form of sugar sweetener. Sammy's got xylitol, because so apparently it's natural. You'll also need ice to blend with your milk. And I also want to say at this point that I read several recipes that called for tea. Sammy's recipe isn't including tea, so therefore, can we call this bubble tea? I don't know. You also need a blender, and we're using a Nutribullet, because I don't one, use it for anything else. Yeah, at one point in my life I was like, Health kick, let's go. And then I used it maybe for a week. Come closer into our kitchen, see us make this. Is that eczema? Eczema? You got eczema? We don't know the rest of eczema. It's not funny to me. <laughs> the first step you want to do is get your ice and your milk and combine them in your blender. If you're like us, you're using a Nutribullet, which is great because it helps you measure out exactly how much for one cupful. Tip of the day, to measure out ice, make sure you use your fingers. We're going for like a more liquidy thing rather than like a slushy. Right? Yes. Is that right? Uh, the, the thing I read is like a quarter cup of ice. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it because they would never understand. We're now going to pour in half a cup. Wow, damn. Now it's time to blend, and while Sammy does that, I'll do some interpretive dance. Is that it? Why does it stop? It smells like beef. Tip of the day, if you want to make sure you get a normal, humane level amount of chocolate in your diet, don't use us for reference because I eat too much. We're using a teaspoon of Capri Bourneville Cocoa, and if or if you're maybe smart, cacao. Capri is the best chocolate in the world. In it goes. That's not a statement, that's a fact. One teaspoon of sugar or sugar alternative if you're trying to fool yourself into watching your waistline. I'm using a teaspoon of sugar alternative, aka Seneca. Handful of ice and blend. And whilst Sammy blends, once again, I'll give you some interpretive dance. Tip of the day combine your favourite things in a cup so it's easy to digest. What? When the sky is grey and gloomy, you pick up your tea and drink your tea. That is well. Okay, so now you've blended, what we're going to do is pour it into a bubble tea container. Here we go. Oh wait, no, tea, bubble.
I'm gonna add I'm gonna add half of what we've got here into Careful, that. is that eczema? Our balls are slightly brown. That's because they've been steeped in London water. So we're gonna pour this into our container now, also known as a cup. Okay, that water's more than Oh, that's quite a lot. So now you've got your layer of boba bubbles, also known as tapioca pearls. We're then gonna pour in the chocolate mix. This could go bad. This could look bad, yeah. And all that ice and mm. so we've got a bit of sprinkle of cocoa powder on top. Wait, let me take a photo of it. Wait, wait. This never works out well, so I'm just taking a photo of it. Tip of the day: If you're trying to Instagram your food, remember calories don't matter because you're probably not going to eat it. It's all about making it look aesthetic, attractable, and unlike you've cooked it. Do you mean attractable? No. Attractive. So we've prepared our chocolate one, but before we go any further, we're going to prepare the maple syrup flavour, just so we can try them at the same time. At twice speed. Go, go, go! Did you know... Did you know xylitol is a sugar alcohol, and if you have too much of that... You will catch your God, you'll, you'll know it then tomorrow. Nicky's added a little bit of cocoa into this recipe when he wasn't supposed to. The milk has now gone brown. But not the same. Did you have maple? Yeah. I don't know what I did wrong, but my balls are all up the top. She snapped. Um, mine is yes. maple syrup with a tiny, tiny, tiny bit of yes. cocoa, and then yours is just cocoa. Yes. Right, three, two, one. So what we're going to do, yeah, okay. I mean, yeah, it tastes good. Um. I may have put too much cocoa in this, but what I'm going to take away from this experience... It's really nice. So many balls in my mouth right now. Let me know in the comments if you enjoy bubble tea and... Um, what flavour do you enjoy? Because I've had the mango one and that's lush. I would give this 5 out of 10. Partly because it just tastes like milk. Thank you for watching today, I hope you enjoyed it. Give this video a thumbs up if you did. Subscribe down below and let us know what you want us to make in the kitchen next time. What, what world cuisine can we botch? I'm gonna finish this. Remember, tip of the day, a chocolate bar keeps a doctor away a day. Dentist though. Go, do it. No, no. <laughs> this is the full extent of human intelligence. My eyes are like that one in my head. Oh!